Well, while they are watching there at the headquarters, there's a lot of people that are watching at another Democratic Party like Betty Jean Grant. That's right. And a former Erie County legislator, yes, Dave McKinley, somehow drew the straw <laughs> that he gets to go to all the parties tonight. So he's at a watch party. Now he's with the Democrats. So Dave, tell us about this gathering. He loves a good party. He does. Well, not all the Democrats are at the convention center. And you mentioned Betty Jean Grant almost needs no introduction. Longtime Democrat stalwart, uh, besides being a former county legislator, a former uh, city council member, common council member, school board member, you know Betty Jean. She's over here. She joins us live with her president, Kamala Harris. You're not counting your chickens before they hatch, are you, madam? I think I I am, I think, but I count very well. <laughs> Let's hope the number holds up. Yeah. Yes. What do you think? Uh, it's kind of quiet here tonight, but everyone seems wrapped up in the, the coverage on TV. There, they are, and they see numbers, you know, where she might not be in the lead in a state like Georgia or North Carolina, but they don't know that those states have urban areas that come in last. So mm -hmm. even though she's not leading those states, and I say she has lost those states. We, we had said in our introduction that you've been a longtime member of the Democratic Party. You've been involved in Democratic Party uh, politics for a long time, yes. but sometimes a fractured Democratic Party locally. Yes. It doesn't seem like there's any fissure around this race. No, it's not. You know, we all, and it's, uh, there's, the um, fact is, we've been going to Erie, Pennsylvania every uh, weekend for eight weeks, and we have people from Rochester, Democrats, Syracuse, the Erie County. So we all work together because we know that Kamala Harris is the best for this community, the best for this city, the best for this state, and the best for this country. Before she was picked, uh, drafted, if you will, put in place, uh, were you riding with Biden? I was riding with Biden, but I was very concerned about my ride with Biden because uh, his age, of course, you know, and that uh, first uh, debate that he had kind of convinced me that he probably needed to just reevaluate his health and uh, maybe turn to somebody who'd be able to lead the party. I, I love Joe Biden. He's done a lot for this, co this country, and I think that he has served his time. He was a senator for a long time. And and president. So I think that he did good by turning it over to somebody else. If uh, Kamala Harris should uh, turn out to be elected 47th president of the United States, what would you attribute her victory to if that should occur? I would attribute to unity among people who want to see a stable country. I think uh, Donald Trump, the best things he has said and has done, has kind of had people worry. And I think that her uh, candidacy has stabilized the community. They see a level of stability. They know what she's going to do and they know what she's going to say. However, with our former president, you don't know what he's going to say and much less what he's going to do. I've got time for one more question and I want to ask you because you, you've been involved in so many races for so many years. Never have you seen probably the vitriol uh, not only between the candidates calling each other names, people calling and barking at each other in person on social media. Do you think we'll ever get back to a civil discourse when it comes to elections? You know, I'm very concerned because what we didn't have in the past right now is the, uh, is the uh, online. We have social media. Social media drives a lot of this, and you can say something that's totally untrue, and it'll be uh, spread before you find out that it's there. You know what, I, I don't like social media as much as a, a lot of people because of that, uh, where you can just say something and it gets wings to it and it goes where it needs to go. Many thanks for spending these moments with You're us. You're welcome. All right, there she is, Betty Jean Grant. And the party continues as they wait and watch for the results. Scott and Mary Alice.